it starts with something small. A remark, a promise, a statement, a browse, or furrow. We know this isn't true. But it starts with a murmur, someone's name, an incident, a body. We know it didn't happen. We tell others this isn't true. But in the next nine months, bodies pile up higher than the roofs that protect us every night and we remain thicker than the walls we're enclosed in. The sound of gunshots muffled from the noise of the television where we watch our news and comforts of our home. My mother says quietly that we'll be safe. But she tells me to be careful anyway. And I think she's forgotten what that word means. Safe. Meanwhile, 7,000 corpses later, and we find ourselves knee deep in a quicksand of lies we were convinced can't ever suffocate us. And it starts with a whimper, a cry a moment's hesitation and a solid decision when we can't say anymore that it didn't happen. When the next body shows up right outside your doorstep, when every news headline starts with a number and a photo of another casualty and not even a name, never a name, when someone's struggle becomes a statistic. When mothers still need to watch policemen remove packing tape from their son just so he can resemble a human being again, they can't say that it didn't happen. When little, when little daughters to watch from the sidelines how their parents are hunted and exterminated like rats scurrying in their own homes, they can't say that it didn't happen. My mother has started asking me why I always come home late, and she tells me that I should at least try to be home earlier. She watches the news and sees the people dropping dead, and I know that she's imagined my face in at least one of them. We make monsters out of those hiding in the dark just trying to survive. But we're all just trying to survive. It's easy to condemn a nobody, especially a poor nobody, to a death, to a death sentence for abusing substance, but Jesus fucking Christ, the most terrifying addiction that we're seeing is the abuse of power when a handful united in hatred are convinced that they are stronger by millions divided by hate. That's when it starts. But we have to believe in something greater than hate. Something more massive and far gentler. And change always starts with something small. And so these days, I try not to watch the news anymore. Not to forget, but instead to remember. I look at my mother's face in the morning and I could tell that she gets worried about me. And I always want to remember that the sense of responsibility for someone's fears. But I can't stay inside any longer. So I look at my mother and I tell her, for the end time, that I'm coming home late. Because resistance isn't always groundbreaking. And sometimes it starts with something small. Sometimes even, it starts with a poem. <laughs>